Hello guys, welcome back to your 7th Python programming tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be going over building a very basic kind of game. Now when I say game, I'm not meaning one where you walk around, I'm meaning a very basic game in that the computer is going to pick a random number between, let's just say 1 and 100, and it's your objective to find that number and guess that number. Alright, to get started, the reason I've chosen Python, the tutorial number 7, uh, to go over the game is because this goes over everything we've gone over so it's gonna go over variables it's gonna go over um, functions and methods and it's gonna go over if statements and it's gonna go over strings of text blah 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 everything that we've gone over will be in this game so if any if you were wondering why we're going over game in tutorial 7 it's because uh, we've gone over everything to make the game alright so to start out there we're gonna go over two unfamiliar things with you the first thing is called import random. Now what import random will do it is it's going to allow our computer to pick a random number between 1 and 100 or whatever variables or we set between it. All right. So the next thing we're going to import is import system, SYS. The reason we're importing system is because it's going to allow our system or our program to exit success successfully. In other words, usually whenever you have a basic, you know, print um, hi. Whenever you have a basic print, all you, wait a minute. I haven't saved this yet. I'm so sorry. Game.py. All right. So every time you have a basic thing like that, it's just gonna say hi, and then it's just gonna exit. All right. We're gonna make it so it doesn't exit right after that. That's not the point. All right. To get started, we're gonna create a variable called enter. Enter is going to be set to a string of text that says, "Please press enter to continue." Dot 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 or ellipsis. Alright, so we've got a basic variable and we're just gonna go ahead and get started with the code. Alright, to get started let's just print out hello welcome to a guessing game print please guess oops that's all wrong guess a number between 1 and 100. Alright so now we're asking the user to input a guess between 1 and 100. Now the computer has not yet picked his number. Now to make the computer pick his number we're going to create another variable and this variable is going to be called mm, computer number. Alright computer number is going to be computer num just for time's sake. Computer num is equal to random dot rand int. So it's a rand computer number is equal to a random integer between the values of 1, comma, and 100. So now the computer is going to pick a random number and now here's where we go over another variable. This is going to be a raw input variable. Alright, so guess 1 is going to be equal to raw input uh, parentheses quotation marks. My first guess is colon space and then if guess 1 is equal to computer num and print you win and then raw input enter and then system dot exit parentheses zero alright so what we just did said we said if guess one is equal to computer number print you win and then it's gonna print out please press enter to continue and when the user prints or presses enter the system is going to exit all right, else print sorry try again all right now we're gonna make another variable called guess2 and that's equal to raw input my second guess is and just for you know print you have two guesses remaining all right so the user has three tries to guess all right and then it's the same thing if guess 2 is equal to computer num computer num then print out wow congratulations you win all right raw input enter system dot exit zero else print uh sorry one more try and then print you have one 
oops, that's not one. One final guess. Oh my goodness, remaining. Oh my goodness, I'm so bad at typing right now. All right, now we're making guess three. And guess three is going to be equal to another raw input. My final guess is, oops, messed up again. Alrighty. Now if guess three is equal to computer num, then print out uh, congratulations, winner, winner, chicken, dinner. Okay. Then raw input enter system dot exit zero. Else print sorry you lose the game. Now just to cure curiosity's sake, since computer number is equal to a random integer, remember we cannot add a string of text to an integer, so we're gonna convert computer number to a string. Now if you remember correctly, the way we do that is typing the variable computer num and then that's going to be equal to str or string and then computer number or computer num. That way, um, whatever the computer number it picked, it's now going to be equal to computer number but in string form. All right, print the computer's number was plus computer num. Pre uh, raw input enter system dot exit zero. All right, so just to run this, just F5, save it, and here we go. Hello, welcome to a guessing game. Please guess a number between one and 100. My first guess is 10. Sorry, try again. You have two guesses remaining, 50 or 60. Oh, sorry, one more try. You have one final guess remaining, 34. Sorry, you lost the game. It was 63. Well, I was actually pretty close. All right, now just to make sure your program works, make it between the variables one and one. Make your computer number a random integer between one and one. So you're gonna have to get the guess right. All right, one. Why did it do that? Oh, oh my goodness. Guys, I am so sorry. I messed up. All right, all right. So I had to pause it and I had to think about it for a second. I realized what I did wrong after like three seconds. What you're supposed to do is since we're asking for an integer just make it input all right i remember how i said input is bad just change all of the guesses to not raw input but just basic input and that should fix your problem